Busani FM's Prime News at 6. Rescuers have been searching for anyone trapped under rubble after a powerful earthquake hit southern Japan. Officials said at least nine people died and more than 860 were injured. The magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck at 9.26 p.m. yesterday near Kumamoto City on the island of Kyushu. The intensity of the earthquake was similar to that of the one in 2011, which sparked a huge tsunami and nuclear meltdown in Fukushima. Most of those who died in last night's quake were in the town of Mashiki near Kumamoto, where an apartment building collapsed and many houses were damaged. More than 40,000 people had initially fled their homes, with many of those closest to the epicenter spending the night outside. Some are now returning to their homes despite the frequent aftershocks. The expectation that the Senduri party would sweep all 18 seats in Busan was refuted. As a result of the vote count for the 20th national election, the Senuri party narrowly won in 12 of the 18 election districts in Busan. The Minju party, which had pleaded citizens for as little as one seat in Busan, won a remarkable five election district victories. One independent candidate in this election was also elected. The lights went out for 10 minutes at a ballot counting place during the 20th national elections in Busan. Fortunately, there were no setbacks in the counting of ballots. At a ballot counting station yesterday, prepared in Sogu's Teshin Elementary School gymnasium, the lights suddenly went out at 9 p.m. Some ballot counting workers were startled, but lamps that were temporarily installed for the ballot counting work stayed on. The counting of ballots was progressed without any setbacks, and the lights came back on in 10 minutes' time. The school said the reason for the power issue in the gymnasium was due to the lights being set to turn off automatically at 9 p.m. every day. Local simultaneous quarantine activities to remove the Asian tiger mosquito that is transferring the Zika virus, along with mosquitoes carrying Japanese encephalitis, will be carried out starting this month. An official from the city of Busan said that Asian tiger mosquitoes will begin maturing next month, and there is also a growing concern over the appearance of the species of mosquitoes that is known to carry Japanese encephalitis. As a result, simultaneous quarantine activities across the city will occur every third Friday of the month starting this month. Some 16 public health centers and 207 voluntary residential quarantine groups will conduct the quarantine activities. A new survey showed that the hardest thing for middle-aged women going through menopause was relationships with their husbands. A health food manufacturer based in Busan conducted a questionnaire survey on the actual condition of 150 women in their 40s and 50s. According to the results, 6 out of 10 women answered that they had experienced conflicts with their husbands due to menopause. A total of 29% of the respondents selected a lack of communication with their husbands, which was the largest. Another 27% selected having a terrible quarrel between husband and wife. With this, a total amount of respondents who selected conflicts with husbands as the biggest problem equaled 56%. The city of Busan will hold an integrity concert at 10 a.m. tomorrow at Busan City Hall, which will be attended by Mayor of Busan Seo Byung Su, officials from high-ranking positions, and, and executives of affiliated organizations. The Integrity Training Center, under the Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission, will host the concert in the form of a situational drama. Pan Sori, based on Chun Yang Jun, is a situational drama about integrity that pleasantly lays out the differences in the perception of corruption between officials and nations. A special therapy support center for people with developmental disorders and brain lesions has opened in Busan. The city of Busan will hold an opening ceremony for the Special Therapy Support Center for people with developmental disorders and brain damage at 4.30 p.m. tomorrow at the Busan Medical Center. The event will be attended by some 100 people, including the mayor of Busan, Seo byung Su, director of the Busan Medical Center, Cheng mun gi and heads of government-related organizations. The Therapy Support Center provides a one-stop service for, from consultation, evaluation, and diagnosis by medical specialists to rehabilitation treatment, the offering of information, and related projects. 
The therapy support center is located on the second floor of the Busan Medical Center and opens from 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays.